Hello guys and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. As usual we're gonna take a look at the majors here over YouTube and if you're interested to watch the whole list of 20 markets then you are welcome to do so over my site the link is in the description below. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe to always get notification when I upload a new tutorial or a weekly update. So see you over there. As usual with the Dixie we are on the weekly time frame and as you see last week ended up as an indecision candle after testing this previous high making a possible double top here with a bearish divergence so pretty interesting um, so far but um, if we go down to the daily we see that we had an A B C D equal moving um, equal measured move and uh, completion at previous high after breaking above this previous high as you see on the daily we have a day close above that so this high is now um, broken and uh, we've got a pretty strong push to the downside on thursday based on many reasons but uh, the biggest reason was uh, the um, talk about uh, the trade war and things uh, sounded uh, better and uh, the market uh, did get that um, um, news as uh, good news to then on Friday uh, Kudlow went uh, out and almost denied everything that's why we've got this uh, rejection on Friday and we had uh, great uh, NFP numbers as well. So the ABCD got completed. Usually you take profit at 38.2 on that. And um, yeah, we went back above this important uh, level. I told you in the previous weekly overview, keep an eye on 96.15 if tested. And uh, that what actually happened. We tested that deeper below actually. We did a 50% retracement of this whole CD leg now a 50% retracement to then push higher again after the NFP breaking above previous high. So if we really look at it on the daily, higher high, higher low, another higher high. Yeah, still um, bullish in my opinion. And I am looking for um, this next week. If we get a retest toward 96.15, look start looking for bullish evidence for possible next leg to the upside for me to change that bias i want to see a break and close below this low here if that happened then there would be possible continuation to the downside first off toward monthly s1 and if that got broken we start thinking about the 95 um, down here as a possible uh, market objective but first I will be looking for bullish in my opinion there is no reason to start selling the dollar uh, so fast yet gold nothing new here despite um, this huge candle we are still inside the range and uh, yeah as I told you last week sell high buy low and we still have the same plan and uh, for gold to keep moving higher we want to see a break above this high a break above monthly r1 and that it holds above that that would be a possible continuation otherwise keep playing this box until it got broken keep in mind we are soon uh, heading toward a possible seasonal um, bullishness for the gold usually in december gold uh, moves up it's not a uh, rule but um, it's not a blueprint but it is a rule of, of thumb that uh, we may see some bullishness on gold during december so we're still holding in this range and uh, same plan once again nothing changed here oil reached the market objective for uh, the week and as i've been telling you still short sell rallies and uh, it's been moving nicely 
I told you last week to keep an eye on this possible support level and we will do that for next week as well so since we broke this channel I was telling you guys that more downside is possible here but now we are testing this interesting uh, level it was a great resistance back here around uh, May 2015 and then start acted as support so keep an eye on where the price is right now there is a possibility for a counter trend trade here for next week if we uh, start looking seeing any bullish evidence there is a possibility for a counter trend trade toward this level so if you like to trade counter trends there is a possibility for a bounce from this level for trend continuation traders start looking at this area this broken structure is an important level for a trend continuation if we take a fibonacci retracement from this high to this low based on this leg only we do have the uh, 618 happen to be at this previous structure as well so uh, another confluence here for trend continuation uh, from this area yeah EURUSD daily time frame the opposite of the Dixie we tested a major support level it was a pretty strong move when the price tested this area previously but as you see the trend is still lower low and lower high and another lower low so in my opinion this is still bearish um, last week we did a nice bounce on uh, Thursday to then retest this broken structure and uh, start moving lower. So on the four hour time frame, uh, we have this retest of this uh, broken structure here. And uh, as you see, it was uh, this level that really got tested support, support, resistance, and it was resistance once again. I am looking for another retest here to see if we got any bearish evidence to take a short in the direction of this major trend to the downside so if we get any uh, nice double top in this area with some uh, bearish divergence i would be looking uh, to uh, short euro usd at this level <clears throat> sterling usd pretty strong on thursday uh, the dollar was very weak and sterling got some uh, brexit headlines this good brexit headlines despite that they got uh, denied after that it kept pushing higher and then we've got the boe um, statement there was nothing major in that actually not so hawkish in my opinion but still it kept moving higher mostly based on that weak dollar so what we have so far it was a break of the neckline so we have a lower high another lower low below this structure and we are uh, or we did test a major support and resistance level so if we look left you see this area here it was acting as nice support we could go back even to this level support support resistance 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 to then be support again and support support and then resistance so it is a pretty interesting level and uh, on the four hour time frame we see that the market tested that and got rejected we've got a bullish engulfing a double top here and um, yeah pretty nice signal here i am short this market from uh, based on that double top and if we measure this leg from the high to the low we see at that we do have the 618 also at that level so there is a possibility for more downside it is a pretty extended move and uh, for next week if you're not short already keep an eye on this level if we get another retest to this important level start looking for bearish evidence and um, try to uh, short it if you um, see uh, any trigger that you like monthly pivot point this area here could be a first target um, because this could actually bounce here once again so um, sh we should take some profit at this level if this scenario happen and uh, yeah if that got broken then there is a possibilities for more what you could do is you measure this move as well and i think 
a take profit at 38.2 could be a first good level second take profit could be at 261 uh, at 618 Fibonacci because this could actually be a start of a uh, bigger move to the upside yeah so now after we breaking all this we may get a deeper correction and another push higher so uh, don't be greedy yeah <laughs> anyway that is my plan for this pair for next week UJ pretty nice break retest and continuation as I told you in the weekly overview last week go back and watch that um, we've been talking about uh, this level here the 111.80 as a possible support and I mentioned that level as a possible uh, strong support level that to keep an eye at and I said any higher high above this structure here is a reason for a continuation now that is done we moved higher we broke previous high we did a retest and a continuation is ongoing I am still long but do not be very happy yet what I want to see is a break above this here 11340 need to be broken for more upside yeah so if you want to join this trade what you want to look for is the best would be that we break first and then do another correction toward like the monthly pivot point area down here and then start looking for uh, a uh, bullish evidence from this level for a long that would give you the best risk to reward so something at this area here a retest to this neckline would be great you go with a stop loss below previous structure low um, down here uh, even if you target the previous high you should still getting more than one to one and target twos would be up here around the 114.50 ish area that would be a great scenario if that happened okay that is my plan uh, at least Aussie USD also very strong on Thursday did a wonderful double bottom with a stop loss hunt with a bullish divergence on the RSI I'm so angry that I missed this uh, clear signal <laughs> but no one was expecting such a strong move yeah so what happened now is this double bottom is confirmed we broke the neckline but the move is pretty extended and i'm looking for a counter uh, trade counter this move here uh, of course still the major trend guys is very very bearish on the daily but counter this move so it is pretty extended i'm looking for a possible double top here British divergence on the RSI would be even better more confluence start I will start looking for British evidence here targeting this level as first because this is a major support and resistance level looking left here you see how good support it was in the past yeah it got broken after uh, this break and got retested and now we broke it again so first target should be down here because this market could do this retest and continue higher now after breaking above the neckline but short term trade would be good here since it, the market is extended and I mean they need to move lower to find more buyers USD CAD still uh, bullish on the daily higher highs and higher lows keep going uh, we went back inside the box after Thursday moved to the downside uh, the trend line is still holding and uh, yeah we are back inside the box if you put on the 100 moving average you see it been respected as resistance and support during this whole period on the four hour time frame so that could be your filter a break and hold below uh, not as it happened here as you see we broke but we didn't hold below a break and hold below that will change the bias to the downside but as for now what i'm looking for a retest toward the bottom of the box and the trend line would be a good level to look for another buy toward the top of this box if that broken then there is a scenario for more upside okay but keep playing the box as i said last week sell high buy low until the box is clearly broken usd chief the market objective that i told you last week is done 
we did a test of this high as i said we should test and tag this high and if that got broken we have another area to test so now we broke and closed above these two highs we tested also these highs we did a retest to broken structure and there is a possibility for more upside here actually um, so for next week i am looking for if we got another retest to the monthly pivot point if we got bullish evidence to try to look to go long in anticipation for another leg higher uh, to change this bias we want to see a break and close below this previous low and below the the 100 moving average on the four hour that would be a reason to short it for a deeper correction to toward these levels down here okay but first i will be looking for longs new zealand usd same as the aussie usd we done a pretty nice push above the neckline so now we have a higher low a higher high that broke below previous high and we testing a major uh, support level here it was support resistance resistance so the 100 moving average on the daily is also at that level there is pretty much confluence here and it is an extended move as you see so what i'm looking for here is the same as um, aussie usd possible double top to try to short back down to retest this neckline okay uh, this market is probably um, starting a reversal now so keep an eye on that it seems like the 100 is about to break above the 200 as well we got uh, that crossover and uh, there is uh, much news for the new zealand uh, next week so uh, we may get the catalyst or not uh, if we get the catalyst for more upside uh, we need to see a break above this high if that happened then there is a reason to test this even stronger support and resistance level looking left this is a possible market objective a deeper correction toward this level before another leg down but first of all let's go back on the four hour this is the idea short term trade toward this uh, retest here as first target okay and uh, do not forget to keep an eye on those uh, news so that was it for the um, youtube session uh, youtube version of this video uh, as i said if you want to see the continuation of this you're welcome to do so over my site okay thanks a lot guys see you next week I love you.